All right, we're filming. So just kind of wanted to put a video. It's been a while. I kind of, you know, I was wondering like, oh man, is it like, is this YouTube thing over for me? Like, I'm not like putting out gear videos. I'm not trying to sell, you know, like, I, is it like, but it, you know, my head's in a different place right now. Um, I've been uh, going through a lot of like personal growth and deflation. <laughs> I've lost uh, officially now 30 pounds in a little over four months. And, um, you know, fitness and all that. And also I'm, I'm almost completely out of credit card debt. I have 4,000 left. And, uh, you know, the next couple of months that should be gone. So, you know, that's really been my focus the last like, probably three, four months is just, you know, kind of getting myself in check. Um, I have kind of very extreme, like, you know, like an addictive personality. So, um, but I, I just wanted to kind of, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know. I mean, I know some people enjoy these videos. Um, I'm actually in L.A. right now working. Uh, what a day yesterday was. I'll leave it at, well, I won't leave it at that, but I left at 5 in the morning from Nashville, and I got here at midnight Pacific time, which is like 2 in the morning, like 21 hours, basically, 20 hours or whatever, to get from Nashville to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to L.A., all the flights were delayed, and we finally get on the Dallas to L.A., and um, we're flying. And I have, like, I'm, I'm watching a movie, like, through AmericanAirlines.com. They let you watch. I'm watching the movie, but underneath it's got a little counter that shows where you're at. It said, like, two hours, 12 minutes to Burbank. And then it just switched, and it said eight minutes ELP. And I noticed it. I'm like, oh, that's weird. And then I felt the plane just drop and uh, the, the captain came on and said that there's something going on with the plane and we're making an emergency landing. And then, then you could smell it. It was like, it smelled like a fire. So that whole like, you know, 30,000 feet in the air and fire's not, <laughs> it's not synonymous with longevity. So we landed in El Paso, ELP, that was what the ELP was, not Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. And that was it, and there we sat. I was supposed to work yesterday, I had the files. I mean, it was, I got it all squared away, but we sat at the gate for about 10 or 11 hours, and then finally they got another plane in with a new crew and got us, they were saying that we probably were, we were maybe not gonna get in until tomorrow which is now today which would have been completely wiggity whack but that was it man i rented my I rented a car i was yesterday was gonna be this big day of oh my god adios mios but uh yeah so but all all's well and i'm out here for a little over a week doing some lectures and seminars on singing and music and the music business and being a pop star Quotey quotes. So, um, but yeah, I don't know where I'm going to go. You know, I, the only thing musically, I, I'm working. Like, I've got records to produce, and I could probably video some tracking, and that would be fun. Um, maybe some mixing. The only thing musically that I have really been into is, is playing guitar at church and slide. I'm going to put some slide. I'm getting good at slide. Like, I still don't know what to do, but I'm in tune. I've really got this feel for slide. And my friend came over and gave me this little quick lesson. And I've got my Epiphone Les Paul with 11s, slightly high action in open E. And now I've, and he showed me some of the basic kind of thoughts and patterns. And I loaded in a couple of like Almond Brothers songs into my, like, my, I have like a guitar lesson template. It's plugged right into like my Kemper and my Axe Effects. So, you know, I'm not on amps. I can just fire it in and go. 
So that's been fun. And Sunday I jumped in at church because I, I was off this whole month because I I was gone a lot with baseball and with work. But this was last Sunday f- freed up, so I contacted the, the, the dude, the worship leader, worship leader. And I said, hey, I'm free Sunday if you need a guitar player. And he's like, oh, man, come on. So I played Sunday, and it was the best it was the best it was the best we ever did and it was definitely the best I ever did and and you know he lets us cut loose at the end when everybody's filing out of church we're like jamming and you know now and and now I'm relaxing and I'm playing more I'm not being just like I don't know you know sometimes you listen to like church you know modern christian music and everything's so I don't know it's so controlled and I just I'm just cutting loose so I'm kind of modulating between like the Christian style, which is kind of U2, Coldplay, nerdy, kind of alt-rock thing. And then, like, I'm just bringing in me, which is like, it starts sounding like Billy Gibbons or <laughs> David Gilmore or, or Warren Martini or whatever, you know. I start bringing in what I'm into, and it was it was awesome. It was really inspiring, and everybody was like, you know they're digging it you know so it's cool it's like it's not you know it's not like some big it's not like some whatever they call it like a there's a word for it like a mega church where it's like you know we're on tracks and everything you and you stand there no it's loose uh, and it's cool though it's cool and i mean it's national i can't tell like everything's backwards i'm seeing it backwards in the screen here on come on uh quick time but you know but it's Nashville so you know it's great players you know I mean it's Nashville so yeah it's killer band (laughs) killer band so it was really good and that inspired me and and learning slide inspired me and I've been writing a lot of songs so I guess you know that's what that's where I'm at you know like I don't like I, I think the days of me putting out videos of like you know Distressor versus 1170 I think that's over because I I'm not I don't know. I'm just not interested in on any of that stuff, and I don't, you know. I think a lot of that stuff just derailed me, you know. And, and I wouldn't take back, I wouldn't take back my journey, but so I I got the studio started in two thousand one. On the heels of like making a record that really went south, and I was like, I forget it, you know. And I'd had a studio in the nineties, and. You know, I had a I had a tape studio. I had an eight ad studio. I mean, I had four track when I was a kid. So you know, I know about you know. I figured I can do it, right? Little did I know it was you know it, I was going down the rabbit hole of the millennium. And what's funny is you know I got involved with Gear Sluts and I became like soup like I test I owned everything. I tested everything. I knew all the manufacturers. My studio is in the middle of Hollywood. I mean, I did it all, man. I was like you know friends with. A Designs and Brent Averill and Slate and Telefunken and, you know, you name it, everyone, everyone to one degree or another through just the location of my studio, my personality and gear slots and, uh, you know, all the guitar guys. And And what's funny is that, you know, when you first start there, you know, they're like, you know, you just like, yeah, man, just like a... Get an eleven seventy six and even a and a and a and a U forty seven or whatever you know, and then I went full circle, man, and I ended up going back to just the basic. I was like, if I would have just like if I would have just like read gear slits for two hours, kind of got the gist of what they said, and just did that and never went anywhere else, I'd have been fine. But again, going back to this, you know, how does one get fifty fifty? six thousand dollars in credit card debt you're crazy so i'm crazy so but it is good uh also and this is very personal obviously we talked about the 30 pounds uh this week i'm also five years clean and sober so um yeah i am clean and sober man uh five years uh so it's been a journey i was sober I had a couple of long stints of sobriety and then convinced myself I could drink beer on the weekends. <laughs> what a great idea. As long as you don't, you know, do shots and go to Vegas, right? The problem is as soon as I start drinking beer, I want to do shots and go to Vegas. So 
Yeah, as Charlie from Joe and Charlie says, controlling your drinking while drinking <laughs> it's rarely works out. But anyway, I do feel good about this. Like I put a little fun video, right? It's it, there's some information, it's some of this. I'm definitely going to be like, I'm going to become a kick-ass slide player. I'm just putting it out there. That's what's happening. I'm going to become a kick-ass slide player because I, 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 now it's now I now I could see it in my sights. I've learned a little bit about, about vibrato. My friend, like, went on the road. The kid that came over and gave me, like, this lesson went on the road. And one of the dudes they played with was, like, an old guitar player from Bonnie Raitt's band. And he said, hey, he just, like, said, hey, I want to show you something. This is what Bonnie taught me about vibrato. A very simple thing. And then my friend, like, when, when he told him that, he said it revolutionized his playing. And then he told it to me and I could feel, I was like, oh yeah, this is one of those things that's like in singing, like as you go up, sing higher, think down, seems real simple. Start doing it and it changes everything. It changes absolutely everything. Uh, there's it's the magnitude of some certain simple things. So he showed me about like keeping, not, not moving with my thumb. Cause this was what was weird. Like growing up on like, you know, a lot of like 80s, like Ingve and, and, and George Lynch and, and, you know, Rat and, and all that, Kira Takasaki and Randy Rhodes. Like I had this, I had this cool vibrato. Like it's really dramatic. It can be subtle. It can be dramatic, but it's beautiful. It's just in the pocket. But man, get me on a slide. And it's like, I couldn't even, like, it was weird. And then I'd watch like Derek Trucks or whatever. I'd be like, well, it doesn't look hard, but for whatever reason, but this thing he taught me about, like not moving the thumb and just getting this to start to rock. I was like, it was like, he was showing it to me. And then I was like, and then for like a split second, I got it. I was, oh, there's the sound. That's that, that sound because, and you really have to be strong because it's relaxed and it starts very slow. So it's a very controlled thing and you got to be loose. So you've got to really have it. So now I've been getting, getting it. I don't know, whatever, right? So I'm 60 years old and now I want to be uh, Derek Trucks. <laughs> Oh my God. All right. Well, here we are. I'm in this, the hotel in Universal. Work is starting t today. I don't know what's up with my hair. It's I'm seeing it backwards because it's flip -roonied. If you guys have, I well, you know, I would, I, I can't say if you guys have ideas for videos because I'm I mean, I, I'm limited to what I, I don't ever contact manufacturers and want them to send me my equip, th their equipment like that. Those days are long gone. I, if I want it and I'm going to buy it, great. And that's it. Like, don't, <laughs> there's no affiliate links, man. Those days are over. I'm a solo man, not attached to manufacturers. I already did that. Wasn't for me. It's just... Yeah, it's not for me, man. So, yeah, videos are coming. And I'm feeling better. 30 pounds down, baby. Peace. How do I shut this off? Ah!